Liftoff will start in T minus 10 seconds. Mission Control Houston, we are using the payload day cameras right now to catch a glimpse. Visually, but we're not sure that way. Always out in space. When I was a kid, space was it. I mean, it. Adventure, escape, like the Wild West, but you know, space. My uncle felt the same way. I filtered through many a job, never feeling quite copacetic. After an incident involving a helper monkey and a carpet shampooer, I decided I might not be cut out for the average nine to five. Hey, NASA, uh, are you guys hiring? Please clarify your question. Like, are there any positions open? Sir, we can't make that information public. Well, maybe a place I could send a resume? This is a secure line. How did you acquire well, this number? It's not important how I got this number. We're busy here, so yes, it stands important. Do you kiss your mother with that mouth? <sighs> Scott, we know it's you again. Stop calling and we will have to report to you. Fine! You will be receiving a not thank you card. Fine people are here because you think you have what it takes to be a part of this space crew. Also, you probably saw my ad. The brownies will be at the end. I'm doing this because the sky is not the limit. Nothing is. We're in control of our own destiny. Okay, Burke, do you have what it takes to stare opposition in the face and say, psh, whatever? Do you have any fears? Well, yes to the first part, and also yes to the second part. I have a lot of fears. I am afraid of squirrels. I'm afraid of scars. I'm afraid of scarfs and Girl Scouts. Do you have any skills? I took a job aptitude test once, and they said, please try again. Well, what are you doing here? I was bored. But you also offered brownies. So. I'll find some for you. Clarice, no fears, no tolerance for slackers, was a Girl Scout know how to sell stuff and how to get even. Seemed like a good opportunity to kick asses. Sounds like you'd be good for security. <laughs> nice dodge. What do you do? I work at a crappy fabric store. Well, only old ladies work at fabric stores and clearly you're not old. How do you know? Maybe I'm super old and I just look really young. People like to crush other people's dreams all the time, and doing this will piss off a bunch of people. Especially my parents. I like that. Well, well, I had a very, very rigorous application process planned, but there's potential in all of you. Welcome aboard, everyone. We start at seven tomorrow. 
a.m.? Yeah. You built all this? So, Master Carpenter isn't a skill? Ready to get started? Is the surface of Venus 450 degrees Celsius? I don't know. It is. Dear Neil, please lead me to the promised land. Thank you. Prepare the rocket, Ferk. I'm sorry, Scott. I'm afraid I can't do that. What? The uh, button is jammed, so I literally Aww. cannot do that. I think I broke it. Never mind, I fixed it. Prepare for rocket launch in T minus nine seconds. Nine, eight, seven. Ferk, hurry up. Please don't yell at me. It hurts my feelings. Prepare for the rocket launch in T minus nine, eight, seven. We're ready. Hey guys, thanks for coming. I wrote us a theme song. What? Hey guys, thanks for coming. I wrote us a theme song. That was incredible. Oh, um, I got you guys something. A, a, a pulsar is a highly magnetized, extremely fast-moving neutron star. 
Um, my uncle and I once went uh, on a weekend road trip to go watch a shuttle launch. And nothing has been quite that awesome in a long time. Until I met you guys. <laughs> so, uh, I, I think it's time we go public. <clears throat> Failure is not an option. No pressure. <laughs> hey, Scott. Um, yeah. Before I go, I wanted to give you this. I made it for you. Also, I may or may not have made that out of material that I stole from my fabric store, so don't visit me at work while wearing it. Are you crying? No, uh, <clears throat> no, um, I was, I was chopping onions earlier this week. Yes, it just finally caught up with me. <laughs> One small step for man, one giant step for the kind man, mankind. Good to know. Space, seemingly cold and empty, but heartwarming and inspiring. For centuries, man has looked to the skies. For decades, we've been crossing the barrier into the great beyond. Welcome to the world premiere of our first rocket. <laughs> when you grow up with people telling you you can't, all you want to do is prove that you can. Only a small percent of people will ever go to space. And if you're not given the chance, you make them regret it. You do it yourself. You give yourself the chance. We are Pulsar Industries, and we're taking our destinies into our own hands. The grass is always greener in space, folks. Screw gravity. <coughs> we will now prep the rocket. Huh. Interesting. That was the exact plan. We totally meant to do that. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Shipping out. Be gone for a long time. How long? A whole week. You nervous? A little nervous. Never been to space camp before. It's fine. I've never been to Florida before. Do you? Do you think there are old people in space? I'll let you know when I get there. I'll miss you guys. Well, you could write us. Well, I mean, I mean, I'll probably be back by the time I get to you. Well, you could write them and then give them to us the next time we see each other. I don't know, Lily. I'll be a changed man by then. Might even grow a mustache. 